This might be the best $37 you could spend. These are the QCY Cross Sky C30. They're an open style earbud that have all the bells and whistles at a fraction of the cost. App support with firmware updates, check. Multi-point connection, check. Customizable EQ, check. Normally with budget-friendly alternatives, you expect to make some sacrifices, but so far with these, I haven't really found any. So these earbuds wrap around and sit on the outside of your ear, which accomplishes multiple things. For one, it means no issues if you wear glasses. A lot of open style earbuds use ear hooks, which are great as far as staying in place, but they can be a challenge if you wear glasses. Wearing the earbuds on the outside of your ear also means you can maintain situational awareness. There's no ear tip or anything actually sealing off your ear, so you can hear your music as well as what's happening around you. It's great for walking, cycling, hiking, things of that nature. And then there's also comfort. You can easily wear these for hours at a time with minimal fatigue. As far as color options, you've got black, white, and purple. The white is more of a ivory or like a cream color. And then if you want something more vibrant, the purple definitely stands out. I think the overall design looks a lot more premium than what the price tag suggests. Like I said, it's a clip on design. So you have this flexible joint that just kind of wraps around your ear. The section that houses the battery goes behind your ear. And then you have the section with the actual speaker that projects the sound towards your ear. Now, when you're wearing the earbuds, you actually notice that they have a slightly non-symmetrical design. And that's intentional to make putting the earbuds on and taking them off with one hand easier. As far as how you position the earbuds, whether it's higher or lower, you can definitely experiment and see what feels best. And I like that no matter how you end up wearing them, for the most part, the sound stays the same. You also have touch controls located on the back portion of the earbud. There's a single tap, a double tap, and a triple tap. And what's nice is that you can actually go in the app and customize the controls and you're able to customize the left and right controls independently. So if you want completely different controls for the left versus the right, you have that option. You can also customize the sensitivity of the controls. So for whatever reason, if you're having issues with consistency, you can go in and adjust the sensitivity between normal, medium, and high. Now moving over to the charging case, it's compact, it's pocketable, it's got a lightweight matte plastic finish, and as long as you're not reckless, I don't see any reason it wouldn't hold up long term. In terms of connection, like I said earlier, these do offer multi-point, which allows you to connect to two devices at once. And at this price, you're probably happy if the multi-point works, period. But with the C30, it actually works just as well, if not better than some more expensive options. Going back and forth between my S24 Ultra and my MacBook Pro has been seamless and there's virtually zero lag when doing so. So if you need something that can keep up with multiple devices at once, these have you covered. Now, as far as battery life, you're looking at roughly five and a half hours on a single charge, which is respectable. It's in line with a lot of the competition. Now, if you need something that can last eight plus hours on a single charge, maybe to get you through an entire workday, something like that, then the battery life could be an area of critique, but for majority of people, I think five and a half hours is sufficient. And then once you factor in the charging case, you're looking at a total of about 25 hours. The C30 also have an IPX4 water resistant rating. So a light splash of water, a little bit of sweat isn't going to be an issue, which means these are safe for the outdoors as well as the gym. Now, as far as sound quality, these are using a 10.8 millimeter dual magnetic driver. And honestly, compared to more expensive options, these stack up extremely well. The one thing you could say is that they might be a touch quieter than some of the competition, but that argument is short lived thanks to customizable EQ. You've got a handful of presets to choose from, but I think the sound really comes to life when you customize things for yourself. So these are my preferred EQ settings at the moment. Feel free to try them out for yourself. I think you get more volume and overall just more liveliness from the sound. I think you're getting great clarity. You're getting good vocal separation. The bass is solid. Granted, you can only expect so much bass from an open style design, but there's definitely enough there to keep things from sounding thin. And then something that really surprised me is that there's also spatial audio. As usual, it gives you kind of a wider sound. It kind of shifts the perspective a bit. It's just another feature that you can experiment with to find that perfect sound. And like I said earlier, these are giving you all the bells and whistles at a fraction of the cost. 
there's even the option to adjust the balance of the sound. So maybe you hear better in one ear versus the other, you can shift the sound to compensate for that difference. And then if you dive deeper in the settings, there's a gaming mode to help reduce lag and latency. And there's a find my device feature that shows you the last location and it allows you to chirp the earbuds if they're outside the case. All right, so just to give you guys an idea of the microphone quality, right now what you're listening to are the microphones of the Cross Sky C30. Uh, basically, I'm using one phone to leave a voicemail on my other phone. Uh, so yeah, it should be a pretty good representation as to how you would sound if you choose to use these for phone calls. All things considered, I think the microphones sound decent. They could be a little better as far as reducing background noise. You can definitely hear some of that wind noise creeping in, but all things considered, it's hard to complain with everything these bring to the table. So I think there's a few different scenarios where you might wanna grab a pair of these. I think if you've been on the fence about open style earbuds, you've been curious, but just haven't pulled the trigger, these will be a great place to start. Also, holiday season is right around the corner. If you know somebody that would appreciate a less intrusive design, these are perfect. They're affordable. You could get a pair for the entire family without breaking the bank. So that's my take on the QCY Cross Sky C30. Make sure you check out the link in the description if you're interested. And aside from that, I appreciate you guys as always, and I'll see you in the next one.